Welcome back to DIY with Diamond Tech Co. In this video, we'll be going over how to make a six strand no nose halter. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at diamondtackco.com. We'll start by cutting three strands at 10 feet and three strands at 12 feet. We'll be starting at the jaw piece with one knot containing all six strands. Dividing our strands into two groups of three, we'll braid out two strands in two inch sections. It doesn't really matter how you divide these out because we'll be joining them back up in just a second. We just want to make sure that there's enough room here for our throat piece to slide through while still being able to snug down that knot later if needed. We'll then join all six pieces back together for a doubled up three strand braid. We can substitute this for a six strand round braid, but it is a slightly more difficult braid and it does take a little bit more rope. We'll mark off 6 inches from our knot. This is where our lead rope tie will thread back through. From there, we'll braid out another 8 inches, take our center strand, and thread it back through that hole we marked. From there, we'll move on to our right cheek, so we want to find the 3 shortest strands. Here, we'll braid out 7 inches. This will lead us into our noseband holder, and there's two different ways you can go about doing this. The first way is by tying a knot right at 7 inches. From there, you'll go ahead and braid 2 more inches and then tie a second knot. These are just overhand knots. This will be the easier of the two ways, but I do not prefer this method for two reasons. If you have longer tags on your noseband, there's a chance that it could slip over the knots and end up not sitting where it's originally supposed to. Extra knots can also create unwanted pressure points. The alternative way is by making a hole at 7 inches, braiding out another 5 inches, and then looping your center strand back through the hole you made at 7 inches. This way can be a little trickier because you do need to figure out the orientation of your chin piece. To do this, you'll find the outside, or the side that's not touching the horse, and you'll thread from outside to inside. From there, you'll braid out another 9 inches for your cheek piece, clip it, and throw it out of the way for now. From there, we'll move back down to our loose strands and we'll braid out another 7 inches. We'll just follow the exact same pattern that we did on the other side, but we do want to double and triple check that both sides are even. This will be important because it could affect how your noseband sits in your halter. It is pretty easy to accidentally put the hole one above or one below where it's supposed to be, so after I've threaded it, I do like to double check one more time just to make sure it's in the right spot. After that, we'll move into our left cheek piece, braiding out about 9.5 inches and marking where our hole is going to be. We'll then braid out another 9 inches for our pull tie loop. Again, we'll figure out which part of our braid wants to be the outside, and we'll thread it from outside to inside using our center strand. It's also important to note when you're doing these loops, you want the two strands that didn't get threaded to go on either side of the braided part. This will keep it snug and prevent slipping later on. After that, we'll move into our throat piece where we'll braid 18 to 19 inches, and we'll be threading it through our jaw piece before we move on. Orientation is important for this piece too, so just make sure that your jaw piece didn't get twisted while you were braiding your other sections. After that, we'll just double check that both of our chin pieces are the same length before moving into our pull strap. For our pull strap, we'll layer up our right cheek piece and our throat piece to make a doubled up three strand braid. You can finish your pull strap with a doubled up three strand braid, or you can braid out about four to six inches, flip out three strands, and then continue with a regular three strand braid. If you do choose to finish with a 3 strand braid, you can either leave the strands as is and make them fringy, you can clip them and leave them, or you can clip them and burn them. But because we leave this extra 4-6 to six inches of room, we don't have to worry about the integrity of the halter being compromised in case of, say, a horse pulling. We'll go ahead and finish our pull strap here with an overhand knot or a knot of your choice, and I always recommend going back to both knots and pulling each strand individually just to make sure the knots are snug as can be. You can leave them as is, frill or fringe them, cut them, or burn them. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find us on all our socials. We also have six strand halter kits available, as well as quick links for bulk ordering mule tape at our website, diamondtackco.com.